Thank you. Uh, last time out, didn't, didn't get the result you wanted. I wonder kind of how much you've gone back and watched the fight, thought about the fight, what you take from the fight. Give us give us your little lessons you took out of that. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was, you know, always something exciting, uh, especially a split decision with pretty close. Um, I watched the fight like, probably like a week ago. Um, yeah, probably like the bus not fight pass, so until, until it got on there, I was like, I don't know how to watch it, but um, but yeah, I mean, it sucks. I have no injuries, that's what's most important. It just, that night, it just wasn't on my A game, and I found it in the fight, and I just, not my night. So. Did you feel it going out? I mean, uh, people have those nights, right, where they're a little flat or something. I mean, did you know ahead of time, like, I don't know if I'm going to have my A game tonight? No, I definitely, I had, like, like warming up. I felt something awesome. Like, I had a great warm up. I wasn't tired in the fight. It just kind of, like, I was, like, kind of talking to myself in the middle of the fight, like, all right, I got to figure it out. Like, just a, a couple things just, like, weren't cooking, and I've never had that before in any of my fights. Um, you know, I hear fighters say that all the time, like, oh, it just wasn't my night, and I never really understood it. And unfortunately, it happened to me uh, my last fight, so, I mean, I don't think it was anything, you know, I know that I'm way better. I lost a split decision on my worst night for a contender fight, so, I mean, it's frustrating, but it's, at least I know that's exactly where I'm supposed to be. What? Preparing that defeat to a defeat when you make it just get like suddenly beaten, is it better to think like, okay, it wasn't my night, but I know that's like a rarity, is it better to feel like that? Yeah, I mean, I think so. It kind of, you know, at first, it's all, you know, it's hard to take it. So like, I was, I was like, you know, at first I'm like, I wish I would have just got, you know, beat by someone that was way better than me. And then I'm like, well, you know what? That was the best I could do. They were just better than me. And it was a little bit more frustrating because I'm like, I know I'm better than her. I just didn't have a good night. And um, yeah, I mean, just learn from it and then try to make adjustments for the next time. What's the idea moving forward? I mean, have you got to... A location, a date, and maybe you want to take some time off and enjoy life. It seems. Yeah. What, what's what's the idea? No, I definitely don't want to take time off. Like this is my life, so you know I just want to keep going and get a fight as soon as possible. When um, I think it, the one card for Ashley Evans, Smith, they needed a replacement, so I was trying really hard to get on that, but um, they gave it to Andrew Lee. So I'll take any fight, any you know. I don't really care who I fight. You know, the division it doesn't matter. The whole division. Especially for the women's flyaways, the rankings are all over the place. You know, I'm, I'm still at number three, but I'll fight whoever, even if it's debut or anything. I just want to get in there again. Um, I'm really hoping for uh, Philadelphia. I grew up in Pennsylvania, about 30 minutes outside there. My whole family lives there. My dad owns a bar there. Um, so, yeah, I grew up to high school there. All my friends are from there, so I'd really like to be on that card, but if not, as soon as possible. You mentioned, I mean, the, the division's still kind of in flux. I mean, do you feel like one fight you could be immediately talking about being in a number one contender fight again or do you think it's going to take some getting back what, what's the plan um i think if i have one fight but you, you never know there might be you know they might bring someone else in the debut that has uh like one knockout and you know not a good rep she has a losing record but just got a knockout and then they'll give her a title fight you know you never you have no idea so that's why i just want to keep fighting i'm whenever it comes i'm ready speaking of the belt what do you think of the new ufc belt that got rolled out cool i like them I, said, I saw the post and I'm like, I have a couple outfits that'll match this, so I wouldn't mind having one of those. Uh, just going to campaign, uh, this campaign very hard to get the next shot. Do uh, you think she deserves a shot at the once we talk about it? Yeah, I mean, she's, I think she's ranked number two, I think, right now. Um, or right, I think she's ranked number one. Um, I think it's her, Cigar, May, and Cigar's moving up, so, our, I mean, they were saying our fight was a contender fight, so yeah, I think she deserves it. Um, you're three fights in at 125, right? Uh, here in the UFC. How nice is it to return back to your Oh, it's amazing. I love it. Yeah. Um, most of the fights are that I fought at 35. Uh, some of the girls went down to 25, so I was lucky with that. But um, yeah, I feel really strong and I'm a lot taller at 125. So yeah, I love it. Thank you, man. Thank, Thank you. you.